Two of my absolutely most favorite things in this world are cars and shooting videos, and you guys allowed me to do both. This has been a long time coming. Thank you for your patience on the wrap color reveal. I am so, like, oh, I'm so over the moon about it, and I hope you guys are too. You allowed me to do this, so this one's for you guys, the real ones. I hope you like the reveal. She is, ladies and gentlemen, the GTR version 2.0. What do you think? Like, dog, this thing is an absolute unit. I could not be more thrilled with how it turned out. Clayton absolutely killed the wrap, and under this insane lighting, you can truly see all the metallic in it. So this is KPMF Indulgent Blue. It's one of their gloss colors, and I was trying to match that Bayside Blue. If you're familiar with the R34 Skylines, that's like that. That's like the legit Skyline Blue for me. So like, I want to get as close to that as possible, and I felt like the Indulgent Blue was as close as I could get. One of the biggest things too I was going for was a little bit more contrast, because if you remember, the original color of the car is black, and so it blends in really nicely with all this carbon, but, now that we've got the blue on there, it's such a sick amount of contrast. You can see the carbon so much better in the hood, all these little cutouts. We left the whole center section of the grill right here, all that exposed carbon, as well as the bottom lip. In the fenders here, you got the exposed carbon on those vents. You got Nate over here just crushing it on the photos again. Nate. Just my breath to get this shot. <laughs> I was initially thinking with this color, it'd be something a little bit more like shorter term, because I was like, I was over the moon when I saw how it turned out with the black, but the blue, this, I don't know, this might be a long-term play now. So I can't tell you what we're working on. It is slightly top secret, but it's not. All right, they, they just informed me it is not top secret in the slightest. So it's an Edelkrone slider. My special access to this shoot was the car, because other than that, I don't have a lot of skill. I don't have a lot of talents to offer, but somehow, some way, I can provide something fun to shoot. Let me just give you a little perspective on what we have going on here. Also, look at this and tell me this isn't like the perfect man cave warehouse. You got bear rugs just chilling here on this railing. A full gym on this side, two bays to pull in cars. And then on this side, they set up this insane like diffusion box. So it just makes that light super soft when it hits the car and it's perfecto. So we've got just a few more days until we have to drop off the car at SEMA. Today is October the 26th. We've got this shoot going on. The GTR is about 90% complete, I would say. But all in all, like, I'm stoked because we made it. Like, there was so much to do even just a week ago. Like, <laughs> like I gave myself 50-50 odds that we would even be here today. Now, this is a legit video shoot, so everything needs to be perfect. And speaking of perfect, we got some dust in here. You see that? <laughs> Come here, Landon. Come here. No, this is for your face. Oh. Gotta get you all ready. Landon is the main subject's video. If you're not already following Landon. That's extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not what this is used for, but it's working great. Yo guys, welcome back. Like, <laughs> welcome back to the GTR. I'm so hyped to be in here. I feel like I feel like I have to welcome you guys because it's been so long since you and I have been in this car together. Ready? Ready? It's been so long since we've heard this. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. We're back. We're back. Also, now that the trance feels so solid, so good, I think it's time for a little James Pumphrey. Look, I'm on power, baby. I'm on power, baby. I'm on power, baby. I'm on power, baby. Testify. Because right now the car sits at about 600, a little over 600 wheel horsepower on E85. I'm pump gas quite a bit less, like mid 500s maybe. And with this trans, we're like 
we're freaking good to go, so I don't know. Maybe we shoot for a thousand. Man, look at this duo. And not this duo. Oh. But this duo. Oh, look how be better. Look out. Get better. get out of the way. Get out of the way. Move, move, move. Look at these colors. They're so similar. So today's the day. We're officially headed off to SEMA, but Ryan told us we gotta cover the entire front end of the car so the KPMF wrap doesn't get all jacked up on the way down. Hence, we got tape. Tape me. Wow, that's a good throw. That was solid. <laughs> that was the first take too. Here, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right. Yeah. What are you? Okay, this guy's already tapping out. We didn't even put one layer down, dude. I know. He's like, oh, oh, there's work to do. I, yeah, I had that. You remember I had that thing? No, he genuinely does have flight school. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you in a few days. So she's all protected. She's ready to go for her 393 mile road trip to Las Vegas. I'm so pumped to get there. It's about five, five and a half hours from Salt Lake City right here where we're at. For you, it's about two seconds. Hi, me again. Uh, we're not in Vegas yet, but we did make it to Fillmore. We've had to stop about 50 times. We've only made it about 50 miles. This guy keeps having to go to the bathroom. I don't know what his deal is. So we've been kind of taking our time. We tried to leave a little bit earlier in the day because we just recently obviously put the car all back together. <laughs> what's what's going on here? You want to see why Luke's drinking a gallon of milk? There's a link below. Go check out his channel. <laughs> but yes, obviously the car just got all put back together. So this is since this is kind of the maiden voyage, it's like you're prone to a lot of issues. So we want to get on the road so we can make sure we iron anything out. So far, so good. I keep just having these moments where like I get out or I'm like walking back to the car. It just looks so good. Like you know you know that saying where it's like you get out of your car, you look back at it like you bought the right car. And then there's you who literally pulls over on the side of the highway to look at your car. <laughs> we gotta get to Vegas, let's go! I know, I know. it just looks so good! Alright, uh, yes, yes. Am I gonna launch it? What? You gonna launch it? Am I gonna what? You gonna launch it? Am I, am I gonna what? Let me hold my milk. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to, I wouldn't launch it right now, are you kidding me? You gotta protect my milk, bro. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this guy holding on to his milk. I kind of want to avoid launching it or like doing anything crazy. It's one, it's one of those situations like quit while you're ahead, you know? I don't want to mess anything up before we get to SEMA because we're so close. But so far the car feels like absolute butter. It's driving like a dream. The coilovers feel so nice. The front lift's working perfectly. It just, it just feels right, you know? Look, look at the lengths that this guy's going to. <laughs> Just to get a good shot. The lighting. Let, the let lighting me, is key. Let me see. All for what? All for what? I'm gonna drink a whole for, gallon of milk, for, homie. For his milk video. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a tripod, I got some tape, I got, I got a gimbal in the back. You wanna we could we could set up a whole film set. Here. I would love that. Thank you. <laughs> Just like that, Japan has entered the chat. A proper OG JDM car. I love those NSXs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to beautiful Las Vegas! Luke's over it. Hey, just talking to me, tell a pipe down. Pipe down, pipe down. Or it's lights out, zeros on the debit, baby, all I do is swipe now. Gucci sweat a five thou. Stunning, buzzing. I be going up, no ceiling. Wow. Well, we officially made it here in one piece. We're in Vegas. Vegas, as you know, is about gambling. And the first gamble of the night, will this take the wrap off with it? Oh, that's satisfying. Tell me that is it. Look at me, look at me right in the eyeballs and tell me that's not satisfying. I gotta pee. <laughs> <sighs> you smell that, Luke? It's the sweet smell of Las Vegas. Dying hopes and dreams in the inside of a bathroom. It's just so satisfying. It's so nice to have all the tape off. It looks so much better. She's, she's pretty much there. We just gotta do like a quick little detail and drop her off. Look at this. This is insane. This was all... Luke, let go. Luke, Luke, let go. Luke, please, let go. Goodness. Most my life, I've been dancing on a line. I've been paranoid. I don't want to miss my. The car's legit looking so fresh. I am so stoked on this whole front carbon piece. It looks so just like 
it looks like menacing just coming down the street for that exact reason that's why i went with the d2 racing coilovers with the air cup system in the front so we've got it all rigged up here in the back i don't know if i ever showed you guys the final product we've got the air tank here the compressor is mounted actually behind the trunk liner so you can't see it at all i've still got to clean up some of these lines and stuff like that but this thing's so sick it's just a tiny little baby tank so we still have full use of the trunk here and then check this out Lou, go ahead and hit the button you get two plus inches of additional clearance. You can hop over anything. It saved my butt at least two or three times on this trip. And it's like 90% silent. Like the compressor kicks on for just a minute. And when you're ready, right back down, baby. And you're slammed, you're slammed. So it's funny because at face value, this car looks so sick. It's all like put together. What you guys don't see behind the scenes is that I've spent the last like two weeks of my life absolutely killing myself. I'm exhausted. It's already 11.50 at night. I was up until 5 a.m. last night getting everything else all buttoned up on this car. I'm ready to go to bed. Luke's ready to go to bed. His tummy hurts. Yeah. We're out here doing little pulls, still trying to burn gas. We're only at half a tank. Highway patrol right there. You know, you win some and you lose some. We won this one, <laughs> that guy lost. <laughs> Sorry. This is not what it looks like. We are not, definitely, definitely not racing the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police, or maybe we are. You want some milk? Good morning, Las Vegas. It's a beautiful day out there, folks. High of 82 today, low of 52, currently 63 degrees outside. A beautiful day for dropping off. One GTR. <laughs> you get stuck? Do you, you need help? Have you fallen? Are you done with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> there she is! Oh my gosh, dude. Every time. Every time. I'm so car. happy. Someday I want you to get excited about me as much as you get excited about your car. <laughs> In, Luke found the nicest car wash in all of Las Vegas. This place is legit. Mega props. Dog, it looks so good. So it's officially completely clean, ready for SEMA. Also, I wanted to make a note of something. A lot of you guys were guessing what the wrap color was on the last video. And it was just super funny to see like all the little clues that you guys tried to pick up on. Like there was this shot right here at Brad's shop. You guys saw that red bumper. You thought there were so many people like, oh, it's red or like a reddish orange. Then there was this one with the Ferrari. Everybody was like, oh, you just exposed the color. It's on the Ferrari right there. Then I snaked you guys and I posted this story right down there. Everybody was like, oh, the color's silver for sure. He leaked it on a story. But if you were a real one, you notice I slipped up in this frame right there. The blue was hanging out on the mirror. <laughs> I've got to admit, I was a little hesitant when I saw the car in black all put together. I was like, man, it just looks so menacing. And I was really second guessing my choice with the blue. But now that it's all put together, it looks so rad. So, you know, no regrets. No, no regrets. Not even one letter. That's my credo. No regrets. God bless America and God bless tunnels. life you just you just don't do it. everybody knows there's, there's a whole song about it right it's like you don't tug on superman's cape you don't spit in the wind but you especially never under any circumstances roll your windows down after you just wash the car unless of course you're going through a super sick tunnel 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SEMA. Already seeing sick cars. Look at that wide body C8. That thing is wild. We got this old school Nova and the GTR, baby. Check these trucks out. That thing is absolutely insane. We got the Cobra over here. The new M3, tell me, what do you guys think about this body style? There's a lot of controversy around it. I think it's pretty dope. Hey, hey Stefan. The more I look at your car, like the wheel and tire setup, it just gets me feeling I feel weird, like in a good way, I feel weird. Feel, it's good like, good it, it looks like awkwardly good. Yeah. Like awkwardly, I love this car. How about the Hawkeye STI? I actually, I had one of these a long time ago. Luke also had a Subaru. We had two little turbo Subarus together and it was super fun. It was like a really fun time in my life. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do we end up getting like an older Subaru build, do something like that on the channel? Is that something you guys would like? I don't know. Look at the attention to detail on this. He's got the paint match trunk, but it's carbon. He left just that little bit with the exposed carbon. Kind of the same way we had the GTR. He's got the meaty tire fitment. That looks so good. I'm legit a huge fan of this body style. I don't know, I think we get one. And we got these guys here with TCM Japan. He owns the STI over there as well. The S15, this thing is so insanely clean. Properly right hand drive. He's got the brides in there. Dude, this thing is, I don't know if I've ever seen the S15 this clean. This is insane. Also, how about that wide White on white. I've always loved that color combo. No way. No way. Look what just showed up. <laughs> if you guys don't recognize it, that is James's actual old McLaren 12C. So he sold this car. The new owner actually wrapped it in this like chrome purple color and did like the whole purple and white combo. It's almost like pay like a tribute to him. That's insane. What are the odds? What are the odds that thing would show up right now? And look at that, if you peek right in there, James's old F430 Challenge. Apparently this guy owns like a bunch of like ex-YouTuber cars. We've got TJ Hunt's old Audi R8 that he sold as well. These, dude, this guy practically filled up a whole trailer all by himself. Yeah. What, are, what are we doing with our lives? We drove I, mean, the, I know, we drove a car that's practically homeless. What the freaking heck even is life right now? We got a car in SEMA. Dude, we got a car in SEMA. That's the front door. That's the front, this is the front door right here. So if you're looking for the GTR, this is the front entrance all right here. You have the SEMA trailer right there with all their gear, GTR right here, baby. This is a Space V90. So the plan from here is we're gonna leave the GTR here, just kinda sit and chill. The show starts on Monday, today's Saturday. We're gonna fly back home to Salt Lake City today and then we're gonna fly back to Vegas for the show Wednesday through Saturday. Jeez Louise, Alpha 9 Huracan, are you kidding me right now? Well, I think that is all she wrote. We're gonna go ahead and head back to Salt Lake City, Utah. As usual, if you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell, and on that note, see you in the next video. <laughs> That's insane! <laughs> what are you doing? This is the 4th of July! You're gonna get in so much trouble in this car. Pull over and please subscribe to the channel.